Hey yo, peace and blessings, blessings and peace. It's the boy Jormel Reese in real life, not in fake life, cause they just faking about their life, all right? Hey yo, if you can see, you know what I'm saying, I got that Nutriburst, man. Hey, make sure you get some of this stuff, man. This stuff got all your nutrients and vitamins in one cap full in a day, man. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to keep yourself healthy. You want to talk about being able to take all your vitamins at one time? This it. You know what I'm talking about? Then you got the ISO T, man. You want to detox, get your life right, man. I stand by these products. They are natural products. And then you got my favorite thing, NRG. Energy. Energy. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to leave the link down below. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you go ahead and check out the products. Check my store out. You know what I'm saying? All right? Hey, yo. Wanted to just talk to y'all today about, man, I've been seeing a lot of stuff going on within our community and our society where um, we got this complex about who's older, who's right, and who's wrong, which causes a bunch of competition within the community, you know what I'm saying? People who are older think that they got the authority to be able to tell you something and they not necessarily even right about it. And they just use their age as a way to be able to, as their clutch to be able to say that they're right about things. Let me tell you something. Wisdom doesn't have an age. Knowledge is, is totally different from wisdom. You can know all you want to know. But if you've never applied that stuff, then it don't matter. You can tell me everything you read out of that book, but if you own, if you ain't never lived that adventure, I don't care about that book. Not saying that that book isn't true. But what I'm trying to tell you is, is this. It's a difference between a man who's reading a story and one who's living one. And that doesn't have an age on it. And when I say story, I'm talking about a story where He's able to tell you through his adventures of what it is that he's doing through his own wisdom. Not through something that somebody told him or he's conditioned on. We do this within our families. Where we had this complex where um, the, the older generation thinks of the, the newer generation or these generation as kids. Even when they're in their 30s and 40s and, you know, all the, they're, they're kids to them. And they, they, they never want to value their opinions or value their thoughts. Now, I tell you what, all this stuff is individual based. You understand what I'm saying? Because wisdom is individual based. It's not based upon the age. Because how can we say in one breath that it's old fools and then always think that old people, older people, have all the wisdom and the knowledge? That's not true. So understand older people and, and, and this, this, that there are younger people that has more wisdom than you. That has lived life more than you have. And that may be true. You could have wisdom about a four block radius. Actually, you could have wisdom about the city that you stay in if you've just been in your city. But when it comes to real life stuff that goes on outside of everything, when it's business or it has anything to do with anything else, or life and experience as a soul, you might not have that much of an experience than a person that is, is, uh, who's been here less years than you. That just means that some of our souls are here to be able to learn lessons and continue to learn, constantly learning. Some of our souls stop learning from ages, from grades K to 12. And if we get a job, then we'll learn how to do some training from there. And then we're always in competition to try to be able to get in line. And then what happens, we create competition with our children as well. You keep your, your children at bay where they are never, they, they got to always look to you to be able to know and get an approval. If you're not saying that they can't do it, then it, it shouldn't be done. No, that's not true. Now, in fact, if you're any type of parent, you should want your children to lead you. And what I mean by that is, is then that mean you weren't that that mean you weren't feeding the right food to your children. Or your children somewhere along the line have not gotten the right food because it only goes back to the person who's giving it to them. So I have to take full responsibility 
of when my child is doing something because I understand that part of the stuff that I was feeding my child was part of something that I fed and I have to fix it. Not, um, no, they need to fix them. No, it's because of what you were taught. Because, see, I can look at the generation before us that was like our parents in the 60s, 65s, or, you know, in their 50s, 60s, or whatever. I'm going to say this. They, for the most part, some of them had parents in their households. Maybe their mother and their father. Mothers worked jobs. Came from a, you know, just more of a household. We are the generation of them which chose to sell crack. So now you're getting the, the effects of the, when you, what you call the crack baby. And in turn, the men were locked up when we were growing up, didn't grow up. Most of the, most of the students that even when I used to go and talk in schools, most of their parents most of these kids never had daddies in the household. I was one of those kids. My daddy was locked up too, just like everybody else. So we're the victim of um, we're the victims of um, the first generation of seeing our fathers and mothers and stuff be turned out on drugs, and we had to learn how to be parents. And in doing so there became a disconnection between um, the parents and the children because the parents want to say, hey, we should be able to tell you what it is that you should be doing and this and this and this. And the kids are like, no, you weren't here for me, so I should be able to do this and do this and do this. We should, and there's no solution because no matter how older they get, they think that they're supposed to dictate to you what it is that you're supposed to be doing because you're their parents. They're your parents, sorry. Well, let me say this. If you have passed down what you felt like you've passed down, a good teacher doesn't have to keep on teaching his, his, his students. They learn for themselves. Now, when they come to you and they ask for help on a particular subject, you should be able to have dialogue not try to dictate their moves their steps and tell them what it is they should and shouldn't be doing because if that's the case then a lot of you guys shouldn't have been doing what you were doing when you were doing what you were doing and we get that you can tell us that but you don't have to keep reverting that and living in that and passing that down because what that does is, is it conditions a mind to believe that they, it can't do something you teach it to your kids that it can't do something. And just because it didn't work for you don't mean that it won't work for them. Just like what you chose to do that worked for you to be able to be a better you, let them pick and choose what it is that they need to be able to do for their lives. See, wisdom doesn't come in age, it comes in all forms. That's why they say you can learn from a baby. That's why they say you can learn that oh, you see that and be like, this kid's been here before. Well, why do we why why do we why do we say that? Why do we say that? Because the soul, it's all about the soul, how old the soul is. Just because um it's it's deeper. How do we get to the place of saying that we know that this soul has been here before? because of how they act in their old soul. And then we forget when they get older why they are as wise and have as much wisdom as they have. Why do we forget that? Because we don't believe in anything but everything that's outside of us. We don't believe that we are who we are. We've been here before. It's too much competition. It's too much. And these, these people don't even know that they're in competition all the time. It's steady a fight or flight because they're seeking approval. They're always trying to be able to get approval from something or somewhere or something. And it's these things that we, we create competition within our families and within our lives. 
We have to be able to receive wisdom from wherever it comes from. And you should be able to receive wisdom from your children without a problem of thinking that you're not going to listen to them just because they're your kids. Something doesn't work for you, it just doesn't mean it doesn't work. It just didn't work for you. Got my products falling. Stop passing along fear. It's a condition that we need to break out of. We can all live in one accord and not somebody cannot be right and somebody can just have a different of opinions. We don't have to be. Alright? And yo, peace and blessings, blessings and peace. It's the boy John Mel Reese in real life, not in fake life, because they just faking about their life. Like I said, man, make sure, like I said, make sure y'all get y'all some of this Nutriverse or some of this detox tea, man. And hey, energy, energy. I got the new single that'll be coming real soon, man. Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned to the station. It's the boy John Mel Reese. Peace and blessings, baby.